good to see you. We're here to help. Count Indoris has ordered us to hold our positions until Fairwill returns from inside that accursed Oblivion Gate. I don't know where it came from, but a mysterious gate appeared outside the walls of our city. The way the guards are reacting, it must be a threat. They're massing as if bracing for an attack. The portal is just outside the city walls, through the west gates if you want to see for yourself. Be careful. Some say the gate leads to the realm of oblivion itself. Farewell. Is it? What do you want? Goodbye. I am Naspia Cosma, Shadenhall's steward. I offer introductory training with blades and may condescend to accept you as a student. If the guards don't do something about the Oblivion Gate soon, I'm leaving town. It's not safe here. Be seeing you. Please, although I'm concerned about the safe return of my son and the closing of the gate, please see Aminus Gregory for all of the details. With a possible attack looming, I must be free to make preparations. Good luck! You look skilled in alteration. Maybe you can teach me something. You have the hands of an illusionist. How are you? We're here to help. Good day. I'd advise you to keep your distance from that accursed portal. Haven't you heard about these gates to oblivion opening up all over Tamriel? Well, then you know what they're capable of producing, although nothing has come through ever since Farwell entered. About two days ago, Count Indaris' son, Farwell, entered the Oblivion Gate with six other men. 
haven't heard from them since then. The Count fears the worst, and has posted guards here so we can watch and see if anyone comes back out. And so far, nothing. At this point, Count Indaris is offering a reward for the recovery of his son from inside the gate, or confirmed news of his demise. If you find him, or the rest of the Knights of the Thorn, get them out of there. I'm sure the Count would also be pleased if the gate was closed. New to these parts, eh? The Knights of the Thorn are a bunch of rabble who fancy themselves true knights. Farwheel formed the group around two years ago. They make grand boasts and talk a good talk, but that's all they are. The real work goes to us, the city guard. I hate to speak ill of them, as something horrible may have happened. But their own bravado got them into this mess. It's tolerated because Farwheel is the Count's son, plain and simple. He has the power and the coin to put it all together. Most of the time, they lounge around the tavern drinking and making up stories of epic battles with impossible odds that they won. It's all garbage. They never patrol. They never help fight off the occasional bandit that slips into the city. Ah, oh, well, I've said too much already. There's only one way to remove that gate. Venture inside, find the gate sigil stone, and take it. Once you have it, the gate should be closed. From what I hear, you'll appear back where you entered, safe and sound. Farwell is a dunmer, and he's wearing steel plate armor. His shield should bear the crest of the knights. <laughs> Nothing but the best for the Count's son. There are seven of them, including Farwell. Even though they're a nuisance, I still hope they haven't been hurt. Or worse. Tread carefully. I don't know what evil lurks within that gate.
It's about time someone got here. What took you so long? We are knights sworn to uphold the laws of Chadenhall. We fear no being, and we strike fast and true as lightning. Many wish to join our ranks, as we are of the highest echelon. Only a select few may join the finest force ever to grace the lands of Cyrodiil. Until now, we numbered only seven, but attacked like a regiment. Our enemies quake at our approach and falter at our charge. Huzzah! I set out with the rest of the knights to dispatch this blemish on the face of our fine world. When we arrived, we were overwhelmed. I myself was able to kill perhaps two score of them, but they just kept coming. Only Bremen and I remain alive. However, with you here now, we can take the sigil stone from that citadel and complete our quest for the good of all Chadenhall. Huzzah! Are you mad? A Knight of the Thorn never returns home until the mission is done. It's our way. Now, in my father's name as Count Inderus of Chadenhall, I order you to lead me to that sigil stone. I suggest we use the Raymond Sweep Formation. You'll assault, and we'll guard the rear flank. Onward and upward! Huzzah! The sigil stone for this Oblivion Gate is the key. As soon as we have it, we shall rid Chadenhall of its existence. The path is yours. Lead on! Even if Farwell doesn't say it, we appreciate that you're here. Don't judge Farwheel too harshly. Most of what he says is... fabricated. But he's young, and therefore quite brash and inexperienced. All he wants to do is please his father. I've known him since he was a lad, and fighting to defend Chaden Hall is in his heart. I just wish his heart was bigger than his hubris. I'm sure you wish to hear the real story, rather than Farwheel's version. Not long after the gate opened, Farwell decided an assault was in order. We charged inside and promptly met resistance. Three of us were cut down in the first wave. We pressed on at Farwell's behest. At the base of the Citadel, we met a larger second wave of foes. We lost two more in that skirmish, as well as Farwell and I being wounded badly. It was at this point we considered retreat. We found the way back blocked by more Daedra, so we were stuck here until rescued by you. It's just like Farwell to leap before he looks. Had we brought a City Watch contingent, we might have taken the Sigil Stone with minimal losses. Instead, Farwell wanted to prove his point. The City Watch and the Knights of the Thorn are always at odds. 
They think we don't have what it takes, and Farwell wanted to show them. Perhaps we're all to blame, but that's not important right now. We must complete our journey and get that stone. Please, help us. Let's keep moving. Lead on. The path is yours. Lead on. Lead on to victory for the night. The path is yours. Lead on. Accept your surrender, my friend.
lead on to victory for the Knights of the Thorn. Oh, and you too, of course. The path is your... Uh, I mean, victory is ours once again. Huzzah! It's a shame that Bremen didn't make it, though. He was a good knight. You've done well. I wouldn't have expected such bravery from someone who isn't a knight of the thorn. Now that this battle between good and evil has been won, and the day is ours, you should go speak with my father. He will reward you greatly for escorting me home and closing the Oblivion Gate. Since you have led us to victory, I am hereby giving you the honorary title of a Knight of the Thorn. Your name shall be revered, and your deeds placed into song to be performed by the greatest bards for generations to come. Congratulations! As a Knight of the Thorn, you are now expected to carry this symbol of your knighthood. Carry it proudly, and wear it well. 
No more will the gate threaten the good people of Chadenhall. The Knights of the Thorn have triumphed once more. Make sure you address the Count properly. I'm sorry. I have to patrol the area. But you should hurry to Castle Chadenhall. The Count doesn't like to be kept waiting. Perhaps this journey with you has taught him a lesson. Only time will tell. It's a shame so many of the knights fell. I suppose their intentions were good even if they were a bit self-serving. It's a great relief that the gate is gone. Now the people of Chadenhall can breathe easier. This day will be remembered. I'm pleased to finally meet the savior of Chadenhall. I'm also overjoyed that you saved my son's life. I realize he's trying at times, and he speaks before he thinks. But he's still my son, and I adore him greatly. I'm sure he was difficult to travel with, and I respect your patience. Most would have given him up for dead, rather than deal with his ego. Anyway, I digress. I'm sure you wish to hear of your reward. I'm in possession of two fine weapons. They're both heirlooms of the Indaris family, held in the castle for several generations. I'd take great pleasure in bestowing one of them upon you. Please, choose the Thornblade or the Staff of Indaris. The Thornblade it is. Again, I thank you on behalf of all the citizens of Chadenhall, and I especially thank you as an elated father. Farewell. And may R.K. guide you. The head of the Elder Council and a trusted servant of the Empire, no one is better suited to guide us through these troubled times. Even though he may be a bit misguided, I'm still proud to call him my son. I think if you had the chance to speak to any of the knights, they were happy to follow Farwill into battle. I'll be having a very long talk with my impetuous son. I don't blame him directly for their deaths, but he must learn to do things the proper way. He must realize he'll be ruling Chadenhall one day. That's a responsibility I aim to make him ready for. I will not forget your service to me and to Chadenhall. Rescuing my son from the Oblivion Gate was a daring feat. With the Oblivion Gate closed, I can now gladly send aid to Bruma. Farewell. 